artistic family thank you so much for stopping by i am doing a repour on a 20 by 24. um i've got a new paint and i'm one of those ones when i even get one new paint color i like to use it frequently for the first little while just to see how it reacts so quickly i'll go over the colors and then tell you what i'm doing today which is a different than what i've ever done so i have gorgeous liquitex basics paint phalo or sorry paints gray i have fallen in love with this color i've heard many artists and watched them use it forever and i finally got around to getting it if you watched my sunset pour which i'll link for you absolutely stunner i used that in there with some metallic copper and the gold and it turned out absolutely fabulous and uh, I want to use it with this color palette because I know it works really well. Um, but again, uh, listen up because I'll be doing something a little bit different, quite a bit. And then here I have just the Pebeo uh, Acrylics Iridescent Gold, which I am absolutely in love with. And because it's an iridescent, it acts like a glaze. So you can put that on once your paint's dry as well to look and build the depth. And uh, but I also love putting it in with the pour, but you will see me use that uh, quite a bit very soon um, because I am working on um, my acrylic paintings. So I have a mixture here of metallic blue and phalo blue. And what I did, I wanted to darken it just a little bit to add more depth in with the um, Payne's Gray, but Metallic Blue is really reactive uh, when it comes to cloud pours and creating cells for pearls. And so what I have here is a mixture of Decor Satin Enamel and Artist Soft Body uh, White. And um, it does have maybe a slight trace on it. Um, I, I'd like to keep it a little thicker like I did in my last cloud pour. And it just really looks great so i'm looking for some puffy cloud effects um hopefully i'll get some cool little pearl puffy cells with it as well because even though i don't have floatron it's not my one two three pearl cell recipe again with reactive paints the right consistency and ingredients you can certainly get them so i can get either or in that and then i'm adding in some of the gorgeous pavio iridescent silver another silver i love very close in color, uh, barely even noticeable than my Artist Loft that I love. But these colors work extremely well together. Match made in heaven. And I'm going to lay them on the canvas exactly how you see them. And then what I'm going to do is, this isn't enough to cover the canvas. So I have my regular uh, uh, Artist Loft Soft Body White that's going to go around the puddle. I didn't want to use too much of this because it can take over because it's, you know, half and half, 50%. Um, Deco Art and 50% um, Artist Loft mixed with water. And then what I have here, guys, is my blow dryer, which I am getting another one because the spout is too wide. So when I do my Dutch pours, it blows too much for me. But it, it always works out because I love using the straw to define and refine my design, which I, I normally do. I will link my Dutch pours for you as well. So I'm just going to lay my paints down on the canvas, guys. Then I'm going to do a quick blow uh, just to create more design and also allow the paints to become more reactive where I'm blowing them. You know, it's kind of like using a heat gun, you know, moving them around and, and hopefully I'll activate some of the effects. And then we'll tilt it off. Just going to spread that out a bit. I know what I have. So sorry, I adjusted my camera and then forgot to hit off pause. So you missed me layering the paints. Oh my, oh my gosh. I am so sorry about that, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and mute you guys.
absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So yes, I knew that was going to happen, guys, because I wasn't going for a complete Dutch pour. But how funny things turn out, because that would have been fantastic if I was. Wow, this is gorgeous. I'm getting everything I want, though. The cloudy look, the cloudy effect. This is gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. able to keep what I had guys I couldn't have I could have added the white just around the edges and kept it but it would have been way too much paint but wow did that ever turn out fantastic and again it's all about the paints because as you guys notice the paint moved extremely easy and it moves for me but it didn't blow out the way that this did which is what I always wanted with my Dutch pours um, and of course, I'd always leave too much paint on the canvas, so then I would have to blow, but I love doing that because it works out perfectly. So some of these are wonky. They will get uh, a little bit better. Um, I really do like it, but after seeing what I saw, my mind is stuck now. Got some stuff here on my paint. So I'm just gonna let this set up. I'm gonna give it a quick torch. I'm gonna let this set up and then I'll be back to see you guys in the close-up. Okay, here she is. Gorgeous, fluffy, puffy pearls and effects. Definitely see the cloud, some of that silver, um, the metallic blue and the phalo and the paints gray is gorgeous. And the yellow, the gold gives it somewhat of a light green blend as well. So if you guys enjoyed this new uh, fun technique that I decided to experiment and play with, definitely go ahead and like. Please share to all your social media sites. Um, tell a friend, mailman, whoever you want. <laughs> and uh, I appreciate it. So thank you so much for supporting me and joining me here today, guys. If you are new, hopefully you hit that subscribe button and join the artistic family. If you do, make sure you turn on your notification bell so you don't miss community updates and new posts. And until next time, I will see you all in the next pour.